أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أليس الله بكاف عبده ويخوفونك بالذين من دونه ومن يضلل الله فما له من هاد ومن يهد الله فما له من مضل أليس الله بعزيز ذي انتقام ولئن سألتهم من خلق السماوات والأرض ليقولن الله قل أفرأيتم ما تدعون من دون الله إن أرادني الله بضر هل هن كاشفات هل هن كاشفات ضره أو أرادني برحمة أو أرادني برحمة هل هن ممسكات رحمته قل حسبي الله عليه يتوكل المتوكلون صدق الله العظيم These are ayats from Surah Az-Zumar the ayah number 36 and 37 and 38. At the ayah number 36, Allah Azza wa Jal states that أَلَيْسَ اللَّهُ بِكَافٍ عَبْدَهُ Allah says, isn't Allah sufficient for His servants? Of course, He mentioned Himself. أَلَيْسَ اللَّهُ بِكَافٍ عَبْدَهُ Allah Azza wa Jal wants to ask us, Am I not sufficient for you? Are you looking for some one others than me? Am I not sufficient for you? Why didn't you satisfy with me? Am I not sufficient for you? And this question itself refute the all shirk. The shirk entirely refuted by one single question أَلَيْسَ اللَّهُ بِكَافٍ عَبْدًا Some people say that Allah has all the power, yes and He is the greatest, yes but you need some people between you and Him in order to reach Him in order to make Him hear you likewise in your life when you want to reach some important post some people who has important post you need some people intermediate between you and them by the same token they say you should do the same you should fi find some people friends of Allah in order to reach to Allah but this parable is false it's not true Allah Azza wa says am I not sufficient for you when the people ask the Prophet وسلم, that alone the friend of Allah, the Prophet and the friends of Allah, the Prophet وسلم, himself, when he was asked about Allah Azzawajal, Allah Azzawajal said, uh, If my servants asked you about me, then فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ I am near فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ And it's important that Allah Azza wa didn't use قُلْ Say to them I am near Because if you If he is near then He didn't uh, uh, Use that word And in Quran in many ayat Comes with the same, with the same questions وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنْ ذِي الْقَرْنَيْنِ قُلْ سَأَتْلُ عَلَيْكُمْ مِنْهُ ذِكْرًا Allah Azza wa Jal used in them uh, the word say but in this ayah when he told us about his nearness he didn't use that word because he is near he said فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ I am near so Allah Azza wa Jal didn't refer to his prophet and say to us and command us to ask the Prophet at the first hand and the Prophet وسلم, will explain and inform Allah on behalf of us. No. Allah said, فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ 
أجيب دعوة الداعي I respond the one who call upon me I respond the one who calls upon me who call out to me who pray me who want anything from me I will respond to him I will answer him أجيب دعوة الداعي I am the one who is right now answering the one who cry out to him أجيب دعوة الداعي إذا دعان when he cries to me فليستجيبوا لي so therefore pray me and respond to me I am responding to you and you should respond to me also and this correlation is, is between Allah and the servant of Allah the deen is between Allah and the servant of Allah when the servant of the creator worship he worships directly to his creator he doesn't need anyone b between them even the Prophet himself he is one of the servant one of the servants and he also worship him alone he didn't want any person to worship him the Prophet I mean beside Allah Azza wa Jal وَلَا يَأْمُرَكُمْ أَن تَتَّخِذُوا الْمَلَائِكَةَ وَالنَّبِيِّينَ أَرْبَابًا أَيَأْمُرُكُمْ بِالْكُفْرِ بَعْدَ إِذْ أَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ It's impossible, unthinkable that you think a prophet will command the people to assume the angels and to assume the prophets as a lord beside of Allah Azza wa Jal as a deity is beside of Allah Azza wa Jal. No. These deities produced by the people, they are the ones who produce them. And we talked about this issue in the previous lectures. And we said that they produced their idols in order to be free from the only one creator. They tried to find a new way in order to be free from their creator and from their sustainer. When they created their idols and their deities, they reached the point that they could ma ma manage their religion through the idols and they bypassed the only one God. So there is no prophet commanded his folk, commanded his nation to worship him beside Allah Azza On the contrary, they are all informed the people, commanded the people to worship the only one God and to abandon all the deities, all the false deities besides Him, beside Allah Azza wa Jal, because there is no God other than Allah Azza wa Jal. And in this ayah, Allah Azza wa Jal asked the person himself, ask the human entity, isn't Allah sufficient? Why you are looking for something else? Alayhi Allahu bikafin abda. Isn't Allah sufficient for his servant? Alayhi Allahu bikafin abdahu. Wa yukhawifunaka. But they are frightening you with those besides him. Wa yukhawifunaka billadina min duni. They tried to frighten the people with their idols. And they said, if you abandon them, if you abandon these idols, they will cause harm to you. Like the people today, when they say, if you abandon that deity or that person or that place, it will cause harm to you. When you abandon your sheikh, he will cause harm to you because they have some power, some spiritual power and they claim that Allah Azza wa Jalla has given them. But we say, we understand from Quran that Allah Azza wa Jalla do not share his power with anyone. He do not share his judgment with anyone. He is the one who control, controls all the power and use that power only himself, without any partner. 
So do not fear anyone other than Allah Azza wa Jal. They cannot do anything to you. And you should know that Allah is the one who can bring benefit to you. And He is the one who can cause harm to you. Otherwise, the other people or other things, they are like you, the creature of Allah Azza wa Jal. Compare them with yourselves. What you can do for them? Nothing. That uh, at that case, they are like you. Those you are calling upon them, praying them beside Allah Azza wa Jal. Creatures like you, ibadun amthalukum, servants like you. You may not know them, but you know very well yourself. Then compare yourself.